Hey everybody, Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. It is Thursday. It is football Thursday at DocSports.com as we like to call it because our football plays are released every Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time, NFL and college football. Can't wait to post the plays for this week, including a big seven unit main event. You know how well we've done and I'm going to tell you more about that in just a bit. First, a quick note, if you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, it's a real cool way to do it. You click on the link below the video, you get set up for a free $60 account. It's as simple as that. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anyone else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Again, a free $60 account. And again, all you got to do is click on the link below the video to get yourself started. All right, for us, well, we won again yesterday a 2-0 sweep, baseball and WNBA. Uh, through the first four days of September, we are 7-1. We are up about $1,800 for $100 per unit better. So off to a great start this month. Let's keep it going on Thursday. Here's what's going on. I got a daytime game in baseball, a daytime side. Uh, that'll be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific at DocSports.com as we look to stay hot in baseball. As far as WNBA is concerned, we got right back in, in the winner's circle last night. Lost two nights ago, right back in the winner's column on uh, Wednesday. And an easy one at that with Connecticut. We're now 39-19-2 with our last 60 WNBA plays, 13-4 and four with our last 17. I have got a play in the WNBA on Thursday. It will be posted at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. And now what you all want to hear about NFL week one, college football week two. We're in action, obviously, with several plays in both leagues. We've got a seven unit main event going this weekend and all the plays from college football in the NFL will be posted exclusively DocSports.com, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, Thursday afternoon. Don't miss out, guys. Last year, number one college football NFL combined. And as far as college football is concerned, 153 and 105. We came into this season 59% against the spread. NFL last 393 plays, 59% against the spread. 60, 35, and two in the NFL with the last 97. It's over 62% winners, and you don't want to miss out on this week's week one card. Again, a seven unit main event is the highlight of this week's action. All my college football, all my NFL, and by the way, you get those in the same report, all available Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Uh, 40 and 23 is our record with our last 63 top rated football plays. All available 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on Thursday afternoon at Doc Sports. Dot com. Hey, real quick, this hat, man, I hate wearing hats too much. We've done this uh, twice this week. Unfortunately, I'm doing it today because I got a funky haircut on Wednesday evening, and uh, I just wasn't ready to uh, try to make it look like it was halfway decent. So, got to don this hat. Southern Utah hat, by the way, they stink on ice when it comes to football. They got blasted by UNLV last week, 56-23. I was at the game. Could have been 70-7. to If Northern Iowa can get over uh, losing that overtime game against Iowa State this past week, and they ought, they ought to have zero problems at all and suffer very little resistance against Southern Utah. But it's all about that mindset out of Northern Iowa. If the Panthers got it together between the years, get over that loss against their in-state rivals, then uh, Northern Iowa could be in for a big win against Southern Utah this weekend. Just thought I'd throw that in there because I happen to have the hat on and when I saw myself uh, on the video looking straight ahead in the camera, I uh, thought we'd point that out. It was a play we kind of looked at uh, after the lines came out and it was a situation where I'm like, just can't get over the fact on whether Northern Iowa is going to have the right mindset coming off that overtime loss against Iowa State. But uh, Southern Utah is horrible. Oh, my gosh. In the trenches at both, on both sides of the football. Uh, just a bad football team. All right, enough about that. Let's get to our free pick, our official free pick for Thursday. It is Major League Baseball, Miller Park, Cubs, and Brewers. we got Quintana going for the Cubbies, for the Brewers. They're going to send Anderson to the mound. Listen, as far as Chicago is concerned, if they're not able to overtake the Cardinals and win their division, all they got to look at is their performance in road night games this year. 18 wins, 32 losses, including 16 and 23 when those games came against right-handers. They're going to face a right-hander tonight. They're not hitting these guys well in night action, whether they be southpaws or righties, and I think that's what's going to happen again tonight. As far as Milwaukee's concerned with Anderson on the mound, just look at his last seven starts. He's got a sub-3 ERA, a sub-1 whip. He's got a chance to get some revenge against Chicago, and I certainly believe he will in this game, but maybe not a win. We like the under in this game. I don't care about the side. I like the under in this contest. 
And I think Anderson's going to pitch well in farewell. On the other side, uh, you're going to have Quintana on the mound for the Cubbies. He does his best work at night, sub-3 ERA, doing his best work on the road, situation he's in tonight. I think you're going to see both teams uh, combine for a lower scoring game than what that number says out there right now, hanging on the sportsbook walls all over Nevada. Uh, again, I like the under between the Cubs and the Brewers. That's our opinion, our free pick for Thursday's card with Quintana taking on Anderson on the mound. And again, don't forget about Football Thursday, DocSports.com, all my college football, all my NFL, my CFL, all available 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on Thursday. Baseball at 11.30 a.m. Eastern. It's a day game. WNBA will be available 1 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. All right, listen, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Thursday in the win column. And when I come back on Friday around 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific at the latest, we'll be catching you up on all those sharps versus Joes, those wise guys against the public, where all the betting action is, the big moves, all that good stuff for the weekend of college football and NFL coming up. That's Friday morning all through the day, that video will run on Friday. All right, let's have a great one. Let's put Thursday in the win column. We'll talk to you then.